On day one, I spawned in as a baby elemental lion. In front of me was the large and scary shadow boar, battling it out with my dad. Q can do this, dad. You're the king of the savannah. The two of them were fighting for their life. My dad was putting up a fight, but the shadow boar's men quickly joined. Together, he was getting overpowered and was brought to the brink of death. Son, you have the power of the elements? Run! Just then, the shadow board dealt a last hit to my father, killing him. No, dad! With this crown, I am now the powerful king of the savannah. He'll pay for this. An elemental child? He immediately charged towards me, but I ran for my life. There is nothing he can do. This land is ours. On day two, I escaped the King Shadow Boar. That crown doesn't belong to him. I gotta find a way to make this right. As I said this, an arrow hit me from behind. Gah! I looked over, only to see players lined up along a line, practicing their aim. Gotta get ready for the tournament. Tournament? Another player shot his bow, hitting me dead on. Ah! Hey! Out of anger, I shot out a blast of burning fire right at him. What the? A lion with powers? Everyone aim! Oh no. I started to run as fast as I could while the players were trying their best to shoot me down. Let's catch it for the games! No way! Leave me alone! I kept running until I unfortunately met a dead end. Great! What now? While distracted, one of the players hit me with a spear. Yeah! I tried to fight back with my newfound power, but I couldn't control it. Oh no! I was surrounded, and one of the players threw poison right on me. Put this guy in the arena! It's time for the show to start! Oh. On day three, I woke up and was in the middle of a strange coliseum. Ah, my head. All around me was a crowd filled with excitement. Come on, let's get on with the show already. I turned to see next to me was a baby rhino. Who are you? What's going on? My name is Bowler, and we are about to die. What? I gotta get out of here, now! I began to search throughout the Colosseum, looking for any exit. But then, armored players entered inside. The gladiator show has begun! Who is ready for the time of their life? Me! Let's tear them to pieces! Oh no, they rushed in towards me and tried to take me down. But just in time, I shot out a gust of wind, launching me on top of one of the pillars. Whoa, this little lion is annoying. Being this high up, I was able to spot a mysterious fire themed throne. Is that connected to me? Don't let him escape! The players tried to shoot at me from below, but I jumped from pillar to pillar until reaching the throne. I sat on it, and because of this, something began to happen. I grew larger in size, now had 10 hearts, and had my very own fire mane. A burning sensation built within me, now allowing me to breathe out fire as I pleased. Whoa, did I just master my fire element? On day four, I jumped down into the arena with a newfound confidence. Oh, time to totally finish this. They rushed in, but I unleashed a giant fire roar. Oh, what the? They didn't stand a chance now and retreated in fear. Wait, you're the king's son. No wonder you're connected to the elemental thrones. Elemental thrones? Yeah, the six elemental thrones have existed in the savannah since anyone can remember. Each one is located in a vast environment. It looks like the fire one was sold by these players. Well, I gotta find all six of them. They seem to be connected to me somehow. With that, Boulder and I formed a team. We quickly left. But as I did, I saw shadow boars out surveying the land. Quick, hide! We did just in time before they could spot us. What's going on? I'll explain later. But right now, we gotta find a safe place to go. We both narrowly escaped their vision and traveled until making it to a ruined area in the savannah. Looks like a perfect place for a hideout. Let's get to work. 
On day five, we both went to work on making a safe place for us to stay in. I got all the essential blocks to make me a nice lion themed home. One to scare off any intruders. Perfect. And Boulder made a boulder? What? Nothing. I noticed from the fire throne, I had a weird fire orb in my inventory. Huh? Suddenly, it popped out of it and floated to the center of the base. Whoa, I wonder what happens when I find all of the thrones. After catching Boulder up about what happened to me, he seemed really scared. Ugh, the shadow boards are no joke. You have to be careful. As he said this, an explosion went off in the distance. What the? I ran over, only to see a lake battle. Yeah, we've done nothing to you, you heartless beast. They were fighting a live submarine? It shot out deadly explosions their way, and one of them knocked me into the lake. Gah! Hey! I was extremely angry and shot out my powerful fire roar right at him, but it did nothing underwater. Oh, Oh no. Ah! The other fish people and I swam for our lives while the angry submarine tried to take us down. I tried to swim out of the water, but his missiles would just knock me right back in. Oh no. I thought I was truly done for, but the fishes quickly pulled me into cover. On day six, I swam up and out of the water and saw I was pulled to a secluded beach. The fish had their own town alongside the shore and there at its center was the water throne. Whoa, I quickly ran over to sit in, but was blocked by the fish. Hey, I helped you. This throne belongs to our king. No one sits on it but him. Well, where is he? They quickly brought me over, where I saw their king fish. Hello, Elemental Lion. This is your king? Yeah, but we haven't been able to get this squid off of his face for days. <laughs> Without him, that submarine has been attacking us nonstop. But maybe if you help us free our king from this stupid squid, he'll allow you the throne. Well, how do I help? I followed the fish as they led me to a clearing down the river. See that restaurant over there? They have a tool that can help us with the squid problem. Get that tool for us? We free the king. Okay, deal. I parted ways with the fish and entered inside of the restaurant. Okay, I just have to deal with some chefs. How hard can that be? A lion? What kind of service is this? Wait. Ugh, great. I was then teleported inside of the kitchen. Gah! All around me were chefs, but they were Endermen? Well, well, well! Looks like we have an intruder! Maybe I should go. <laughs> but I was teleported again, and this time was sent to a cooking line. Deadly knives were crashing down, and at the end of it, I was being sent into an oven? Oh no! The deadly knives came slashing down, almost slicing me in half. Whoa! I gotta find a way to get off this thing! I was making my way closer to death, but I saw up ahead was an exit. I made my way over and tried to claw through it, but it just wouldn't budge. Okay, I gotta try harder. I did again, but this time used my fire element as well. With my strength, I was able to break right through. Ah, okay. In front of me was the tool the fish were talking about. A shredder? What are they planning on doing to that squid? I picked it up, but as I did, the ender chefs came back. What? You made it out alive? No, men, take them down. They charged in towards me, but I used the shredder against them. Every time it hit one of them, it did critical damage and once they were weak enough, I shot out my fire, making the rest teleport away. Yeah, that's right. I'm the elemental lion. On day eight, I made it back to the beachside fish town with the shredder. Yep, exactly what we need. Go right ahead. Okay, here goes nothing. I used it and pointed it right at the king's head. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, just hold still. 
with the shredder, I was able to launch the squid right off of his head. Oh my, I can see again. How great. You there, how can I repay you? I told the fish king of my quest and he allowed me his throne. I sat in it. And because of this, I upgraded again. I now had 15 hearts and felt water coursing through my very veins. Whoa, I know your father, the great king of the savannah. Yeah, but he's gone. Those shadow boars use very dark magic to get what they want and have never failed in getting it. If you wish to stop them, you will need the elemental throne to become the savannah's new king. The elemental throne? That's what these orbs must create. I'm gonna become the new king then, to honor my dad. As I said this, the submarine found the fish's hideout. Stand back. I charged in, and with my new element, I unleashed a powerful water blast straight towards it, sending it away. Good luck, lion. You're going to need it. On days 9 to 10, I made it back to base. I knew if I was going to be a king, I had to treat my home like a kingdom. I went to work, building two new towers throughout it, each representing an element. I'll add more when I've earned it. Afterwards, I built up a throne room at the center, knowing eventually the elemental throne would be here. As I did this, the water orb flew over and attached itself to the center as well. Another step closer to avenging my dad. I then noticed a mysterious note on the floor. Left to gather things. Meet me north of here. Boulder. Strange. I decided to follow the note until I made it to the entrance of a jungle. Why would Boulder be here? As I said this, I was immediately surrounded by monkeys? <laughs> you fell right into a trap, loser! Hey, what did you do to my friend? But the monkeys didn't respond and shot me with a poison dart. Ah! Within seconds, my vision faded. On days 11 to 12, I awoke and was now in the middle of a tribal village, but it was severely damaged. This is my training dummy? What? No way! But he hit me, launching me to the side. Ah! From my new perspective, I saw a destroyed looking platform. My amazing throne! It was stolen by good for nothing snakes! I must train to be strong enough to take it back! Wait, the earth throne? The large monkey charged in again, but I used my water element to dodge out of the way. Or I can help. I probably have a better shot at getting it back than you do. The leader was offended and brought me to an intricate course. I am the strongest ape in existence. You think you can challenge me? Fine, you win, I'll accept your offer. But if you lose, you will be my training pet forever. <clears throat> Okay, deal. The leader rang a bell, starting our competition. We both lunged into the race. The course was full of intricate traps and challenges, and falling led to a very deadly pit. I was actually keeping up with the monkey until his people began to shoot out bananas towards me. Slip on this! Hey, knock it off! The bananas were slowing me down, and the large leader was taking the lead. He was surely going to win. No, what? What do I do? On days 13 to 14, I was met with a very long and dangerous jump. The monkey leader was close to victory, but I knew I couldn't give up. I have an idea. Using my water elements, I created bubble platforms for me to jump on. Because of this, I was avoiding the course altogether. Whoa! This is amazing! With the one final jump, I made it to the end, right before the leader. Yes, I did it! You possess the power of the elements! Maybe you are a better challenger to get my throne back! Here, take this map! The people who took it should be there! Thanks! I'll bring it back, I promise! With that, I left and followed the map. It wasn't long until I made it to the edge of the savannah, where there was a deadly canyon waiting for me. After looking inside, the biome itself felt like a maze. Anything for the throne. 
I went inside and began to travel throughout the intricate maze. As I did, however, I was stopped by growing vines, and from those vines exited Earth Guardians. Must protect the throne! Oh no, wait! On days 15 to 16, the guardians pushed towards me and immediately trapped me in vines. Stay back! Using my fire, I broke out and was able to shoot them away. I kept following the map, but more and more of them pursued me the closer I got. I just gotta keep pushing. With one final blast, I bursted through the canyon and made it to my destination. There in front of me was what looked to be a hidden away modern town with business snakes? Why do they have the earth throne? I traveled throughout the town until making it to where they were holding the throne. Halt! This throne is ours, buddy. No one is taking it. Yeah, well, it clearly doesn't belong to you, so I'm taking it whether you like it or not. But please, it was our only way to protect ourselves from them. From who? The snakes brought me through the canyon, and as we exited, we saw the shadow boars. They were building up their own terrain and had many of the savannah animals captured in cages. Keep it going! My vision for this biome will be accomplished! How awful. Look, I can help you, but I need that throne. Come on, what do you say? On days 17 to 18, I made it back to the Earth Throne and sat on it. Because of this, its Earth-like essence flowed within me, causing me to upgrade again. I now had 20 hearts and had full mastery over the Earth element. Sweet! The snakes all got to work and collected the Earth Throne. But as they did, the Shadow Boars bursted into the town. I knew I smelled that lion. Someone trying to make their father proud. <laughs> Kill them all! The boars went throughout and began to slash all of the snakes they could find. With their dark shadow magic, no one stood a chance. The king boar was slowly making his way towards me, and I knew we had to go. Come on! Using my new earth element, I forged a wall between us and the battle, which gave us just enough time to escape. He's after the thrones! Do whatever you can to search and stop him! I was able to escape the jungle with a few of the snakes, and we returned back to the Monkey Empire. Here you go, the Earth Throne. You did it! Thank you so much! Of course, but be careful. The Shadow Boars are on the rise. With that, I parted ways with the monkeys and left with the snakes. On days 19 to 21, I made it safely back to my kingdom with the business snakes. After their home was destroyed, I made sure to build them up a nice modern home so they would be comfortable. Here you go. I'm so sorry about your people. Well, now we can rebuild. All thanks to you. After helping the snakes, I noticed that Boulder was back on his rock home. Boulder, you're okay? Oh, yeah. Those monkeys were holding me captive to get to you, but I got a free smoothie out of it, so I'm okay. Oh. Okay. From there, I walked over and built the earth pillar around my castle. Then, as I walked into the throne room, the earth orb flew out and placed itself next to the others. Halfway there, Dad. Whoa! Wait, what was that? Before I could finish my thought, I heard a shout coming from the other side of the base. There you are! Sledding across it was a penguin? What are you doing here? I've been looking for you! The Ice King requests an audience with you! The Ice King? He should have the next elemental throne! Of course! Take me to him! The penguin and I headed out of the base as he led me deep into his icy tundra kingdom. And there, next to the elemental ice throne, was the Ice King! <laughs> now it's a party! A party? That's why you wanted to see me? Well, of course. The winter solstice is only five months, 18 days, and eight hours away. That's more than cause for celebration. Oh, uh, sure. But first, I really need to use your throne. I need it to stop the shadow boars. Don't be such a downer, lion. 
Nothing. This is a celebration. But I... No buts. It's time for the competition to begin. The group of penguins surrounded me and pushed me over to a lake covered in ice. The first event in this competition is the ice slide. Whoever slides the closest to the center of the lake is the winner. As he said this, the penguins began to slide on their bellies across it. Ah, flippers. Huh. Sounds easy enough. I got a running start and began to slide across the ice uncontrollably. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I crashed through some of the penguins and completely slid past the center. Sorry. <laughs> Look at him. What a loser. <laughs> Come on now. It's all fun and games. On to the final event. The Ice King will never take me seriously like this. I need to win this next event. On days 27 to 29, I went with the others over to the next event, where there were multiple pillars of ice stacked up for us. This event is ice sculpting. Build me the most fantastic sculpture fit for a king. You each have your own ice blocks to work with. Now, begin! The penguins got to work and were trying their best, but they didn't stand a chance. I used my claws and fire roar to shave away at the ice and build a beautiful ice golem. Ta-da! My, my, Fozo. This is fantastic! Look, look over here, my king! I built you a snowman! Yeah! Ow! Hey! <laughs> well, my lion friend, you have definitely shown yourself as one of us. What was it that you wanted with my throne? After explaining my quest to the king, he led me back over to the ice throne. But as we arrived, something was wrong. It had completely melted. What the? <laughs> Thanks for the ice orb, you stupid animals. Huh? I looked over to see an ice mage had stolen the ice orb from the throne. You can do do that? I can do whatever I want, and with this ice orb, I will raise an army! <laughs> no! Bozo, you must retrieve that orb. It's the only way to rebuild my throne and for you to fully master the ice element. On days 30 to 32, I ran after the cryomancer as he went to the nearest tundra village. Oh, this is great. The tundra is so peaceful. Nothing bad ever happens here. Be pretty, pretty, boo! In a flash, the cryomancer used the ice orb to turn the villager into an ice zombie. <laughs> hey, you can't do this. I just did. Nothing can stop me now. The cryomancer sent out a large wave of elemental energy that turned the entire village into the zombies. Oh no. The zombie rushed into attack, shooting out icicles to try and take me down. Yeah! Ow! I ran around the village, dodging their attacks, as I knew I couldn't fight back. I don't want to hurt them! <laughs> I need to take back that orb. Maybe it'll reverse this whole thing. I rushed towards the cryomancer, as he sent out more zombies to get in my way. Stop him! But I used my water element to make a path of bubbles above them, and I was able to leap up and finally make it over to the cryomancer. I told you, stop this! Never! On days 33 to 35, the cryomancer quickly used the powers of the ice orb to summon walls of ice around me. Whoa! He followed up with more freezing attacks that began to slow me down. I have to get in close and take back that orb. I unleashed my fire roar, pushing him back off of the platform. I quickly leapt down and took the ice orb from him with my claws. Aha! It's over! Because of this, all the villagers turn back to normal. <laughs> Does anyone have a blanket? Oh, I've been had, but I will remember this. <laughs> okay, what is with that guy? I returned to the Ice Kingdom and placed the ice orb where the throne was, which caused it to reform. Yes. Thank you, Elemental Lion. You may gladly sit upon my throne as your reward. I did as he said, and because of this, I began to upgrade. The cold element washed over me, giving me five more hearts and mastery over the ice element. So cool. But in my celebration, I was suddenly pulled into a vision. In front of me was the elemental ice throne. I 
I can feel its power. Whoa, that, that is what I need to take down the Shadow Boars. You will be an even stronger king than your father was with that power. Please, take some of my men as your personal guard. Reporting for duty. Thanks, I know just where you guys can stay. On days 36 to 39, I returned to my kingdom with the Penguin Guards. I built them a nice little igloo home to stay in. And during the day, you guys will guard the place. I led them into the throne room, where the ice orb floated up and placed itself next to the others. Ooh, your wish is our command, my king. I then went over and built up the fourth elemental pillar to show the mastery of my ice element. Wow, this place is really coming together, Fozo. I know, but I just got an idea for something else to add, and I'm gonna need your help. With that, Boulder and I got to work, building up a defense wall around our kingdom. A good king always keeps his people safe. As I placed down the last block of the wall, a sudden gust of wind blew me off of it. Wah! What was that? I looked up and saw a strange creature flying by. Hey, where are you going? I followed the creature far off into the desert, where he anxiously flew around, talking to himself. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. This is real bad. Hey, you almost hurt me back there. Wait, are you a wind blaze? I'm a breeze, you crazy cat. Oh, sorry, I'm just in a hurry because my king, he's in danger. Your king? You see, I belong to the air kingdom, a kingdom of birds that watches over the air throne. That kingdom is under attack. Wait, the air throne? Did the shadow boars find you? No, something much worse. I'll bring you there only if you promise to help us. I'll do what I can. The breeze brought me deeper into the desert where high above us, was the air kingdom on a floating island you gotta be kidding me how do i get up there oh look maybe he can help hello no wait they aren't before he could stop me the tornado creature pulled me in and threw me through the air Wah! Ah! ouch i was trying to tell you those guys aren't very friendly yeah and they really pack a punch too Wait, I have an idea. The Breeze and I position ourselves under the island. Hey, you, over here. My words frustrated the creature, and he started to rush towards us. This is your plan? Uh, hurry, grab onto me. The Breeze jumped on my back as the tornado creature pulled us in and launched us into the air. Whoa, whoa. On days 45 to 47, the Breeze and I were flung onto the Sky Island. Ah! Oh, wow, that actually worked. I looked around and noticed that the island was filled with singing birds all around. And there was the Air Throne. Yes! It's you! The birds rushed over and started pecking the breeze. Ow! Hey, stop it! Thankfully, I stepped in and pushed all of them back. Hey, hold it! What's going on here? This idiot released the cloud monster that took our bird king. Wait, what? You're the one that caused this? I didn't mean to, but look, I brought us the elemental lion to help. Yeah? Well, that won't cut it, bud. Yeah, well, I'm so sorry about your king. I'll just sit on his throne really quick and get out of your way then. <laughs> I went to walk towards the throne, but the birds cut me off. Seriously? No, king. No throne for you, little kitty cat. You're in this whether you like it or not. Ugh, okay, where is he? The bird led me and the breeze over to see more floating islands with a large air temple in the distance. Our king is trapped in there. I promise you, once you bring him back safely, he will gladly reward you. All right, then here goes nothing. On days 48 to 52, we began to jump across the floating islands, making our way towards the temple. But as I jumped, strong gusts of wind appeared out of nowhere. One nearly pushed me off. Whoa, I'd better be careful. We kept moving across the islands, and I was about to make the last jump when, ah, I was about to fall to my death, but the breeze pulled me back. I got you. Oh man, thanks. We finally made it across the floating islands, right up to the doors of the temple. So, uh, do we just knock? You think an evil cloud monster is just gonna answer the door to a knock? Oh, right. I blasted the doors open with my earth elements, and we ran inside, ready for a fight. But the temple was empty? Huh? Over here! 
I looked down the hall and saw that at the very end was the Bird King locked in a cage. Harry, you must activate this ancient device to lock the monsters away for good. Okay, but where is it? As I said this, a powerful gust of wind blew us back as the giant cloud monster appeared in the window of the temple. Okay, there you are. I tried to unleash my fire orb back at it, but it didn't even leave a scratch. Oh no. We have to get that device. It's the only way. All right then, run. On days 53 to 56, we dashed down the grand hallway as the cloud monster did everything it could to blow us back and stop us from reaching the device. Ah! I used my ice elements to form a shield of ice that blocked its attacks, but the monster kept flying around, shooting at us from every window. I was thrown back as the ceiling collapsed, blocking us off. No! In my anger, I used my earth element to break open the rubble, which gave us another way through. I'm not giving away that easily. The monster charged up for another attack though, and I had nowhere to dodge. Go! The breeze hit me from behind with a gust of wind that launched me forward to the end of the hall. Nice! I quickly ran up and activated the device. This pulled in the cloud monster and locked him away for good. We did it! All right, King, let's get you out of here. On days 57 to 59, I brought the Bird King and the Breeze back to the Air Throne. Thank you so much, Elemental Lion. I believe my people promised you something as a reward. You may take a seat upon my throne. Yes! I went up and sat on the throne, which caused me to begin to upgrade. I gained five more hearts and now had my very own wings attached to my back. Woohoo! I mastered the air element! And as for you, you have actually redeemed yourself. And I would gladly welcome you back into our kingdom. What do you say? Well, actually, my king, I had a different idea of what I wanted to do next. So, he has mastered the air element? And why haven't you stopped him? Ah, the rest of you, my plans are almost complete. Gather the animals. I'll show them what it means to be king. On day 60 to 63, I made it back to my base with my new Breeze friend. I got to work, building him up a nice cloud home to stay in. There you go. Uh, what was your name? The name's Drew, and thank you for everything. Don't mention it. Glad you're willing to join our cause. After leaving Drew's home, I walked over and built up the fifth part of my castle to represent my mastery of the air element. The air orb then placed itself with the others in the throne room. Just one more to go. Then I looked over at my elemental kingdom and was so proud of all the people and friends I've made along the way. Dad would have loved this place. With that, I built up a nice memorial for my father, right where he could look over the kingdom I had built for us. I hope I'm making you proud, Dad. As I said this, a massive storm rolled in, covering the sky. What the? What's happening? Deadly bolts began to blast down towards me, and it felt like they were almost connected to me? Gah! Ouch! Why is this happening? The storm! It looks like it's coming right from over there, Fozo! I listened to Drew and ran towards the center of the storm, where I saw that some of the shadow boars were surrounding an orb. <laughs> the king's gonna love this! Oh, no you don't! On days 64 to 68, I charged in, wasting no time. I have to stop whatever they're doing. Ugh. It's the elemental lion. Get him! The boars rushed right in as we clashed on the mountainside. They definitely had me outnumbered, but I was much stronger than ever before. Every slice with their shadow-like powers felt like it pierced through my elements. Gah! You will fall to our new kingdom. When our king is done with this place, our shadows will claim its soil and transform it into a paradise. We will see about that. I charged in again, and thanks to my upgrades and new elemental powers, I was able to counter them every chance I could. It doesn't matter! Our king's powers will be unlike anything you've ever faced, except your fate! 
Never! I use my new wings to fly up out of their reach and attack them with elements from above. Hey, uh, <laughs> no, there. With the last of them defeated, I made my way over to the orb. It looks just like the ones from the thrones, but this one was empty? What happened? Before I could pick it up, though, an ocelot ran by with blinding speed and swiped it. Wah! Hey! Ah, sorry, Slowpoke. This orb is the property of the one and only King Cheetah. King Cheetah? Wait, it's an elemental orb. I need it to stop. No time to talk. See you never. Oh, come on. I chased after the ocelot, and thankfully, my new wings allowed me to keep up with him. He led me deep into the Mesa biome, right to an ocelot kingdom. It was filled with nothing but hidden ocelots, who all seemed to be connected with the lightning element. Whoa, this place is amazing. On day 69 to 73, I watched as the ocelot ran up to the throne and threw down the empty orb to their King Cheetah. Ah, thank you, my humble servant. Hey, I found that orb first. It belongs to me, so give it back. <gasps> the elemental lion in my territory? He wants to take my throne. Seize him! Ocelots rushed in all around me and tried to slash me down. God, no, stop! I had to think fast. I didn't want to hurt them. So I quickly used my wings to fly up in the air all around them. Wait, they come in peace, okay? I, I just want to talk. All right, then out with it. I caught the cheetah up on what had happened in the savannah and what the boars had been doing. Who are you to say that you're the best feline to defeat the shadow boars? Me and my men could easily wipe away those feral creatures. He's too powerful. Only a fully elemental king could take him down. Is that so? The cheetah led me over to the start of a complicated race course. Then I challenge you to a race, lion. If you win, I will agree that you are the stronger feline. But if not, I will take all of your elemental powers from you and show this world why I should be the elemental king. What do you say, lion? Do we have a deal? I guess I have no choice. Deal. On day 74 to 77, the race began. The King Cheetah immediately ran and started to fight dirty. He cut me off every chance he could, and I just couldn't match his speed. <laughs> you got to be quicker than that. We rushed into a short cave tunnel when suddenly, now, an explosion caused the ceiling to cave in. Ah! I barely leapt out of the exit, avoiding the rubble. Phew! Aw, is someone already getting tired? In your dreams! We continued to race as we came up to the large ravine with rocky platforms. The king easily leapt between the rocks, gaining more and more ground ahead of me. I'm never gonna beat him at this rate. Wait, my wings! Ah! Sweet, sweet victory! I knew that lion was... What? No! I quickly soared down in front of the King Cheetah and crossed the finish line before he could. Yeah, I won! On days 78 to 80, I made my way towards the Lightning Throne to claim my price when the King Cheetah dashed in front of me. What are you doing? We had a deal. The deal's off, you cheetah. What are you talking about? No one beats me in a race. You must have cheated, and now you will pay. The cheetah touched the orb to the throne, causing it to empower him. He grew even stronger and was now charged with the lightning element. Yeah! He dashed towards me and hit me back with incredible speed. Gah! How did he get even faster? The king constantly zoomed back and forth, slamming into me again and again. Stop this! We need to work together! Never! I knew I had to fight back, but none of my attacks would hit. He was just too fast. He slammed into me again, flinging me backwards and knocking me back to low hearts. Ah, that's my only chance. I made a break for the throne, but the cheetah noticed. Oh, no, you don't. On days 81 to 85, the King Cheetah was rushing towards me, but I used my ice element to turn the ground into ice. He was sliding out of control. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> 
<laughs> it's actually kind of funny when I'm not the one sliding. And I use this opportunity to run up and sit on the lightning throw. Because of this, I upgraded. I now had 35 hearts. And with complete mastery over the lightning element, I was now a fully elemental lion. No, no, you don't deserve it. That power belongs to me. The king ran up to attack me again, but I used my new lightning elements to send him flying back. I don't want to do this. Join my side, and we'll take down the shadow boars together. You, you're right. Me and my kingdom are with you. Yeah, I guess you ain't that bad. I mean, you are another feline. And all of us felines, we stick together. With that, the cheetah handed over the charged lightning orb. Yes, I promise you won't regret this. On days 86 to 90, the Cheetah King, his men, and I were marching our way back to my kingdom when we came across a horrible sight. The Shadow Boars had started to capture all of the Savannah animals in the kingdom and either lock them up or force them to work. I said build! No, this is horrible. They need to be stopped. We can end this here and now. Wait, look. High above, standing next to my father's throne, was the king boar. <laughs> yes, men. Show them no mercy. Only the strongest will survive in my kingdom. As he said this, a group of zebras broke free out of their cage and tried to escape. But he leapt up and easily cut them off. Where do you think you're going? To find this savior lion? Arrgh! He's still too strong. I need the power of the elemental throne. All right, then. You go ahead to base, and me and my ocelots will scout out the balls and see what we can do. Go, hurry! On days 91 to 94, I hurried back to base. Just in case, it's time to fortify. I got to work and made the ocelots and the king cheetah their very own mesa home to stay in. I even made sure to put up surrounding towers in the outskirts of our home for the ocelots to keep watch. Right now, we have to stay on alert. Keep watching, men. Aye, aye, Captain. Dude, we ain't pirates, man. Come on. Fozo, did you do it? Not yet, Boulder, but the time is now. Suddenly, from above, lightning struck the castle, causing the final tower to become charged with elemental lightning. All right, here goes nothing. I walked into the throne room, and the final elemental orb took its place. This caused all the elements to swirl around the room. And finally, the fully elemental throne was forged. Yes, I did it. I ran up and sat in the throne, causing all of my elemental masteries to grow in power even more. I grew stronger, gained my very own crown, and was now a fully elemental king. We are awaiting your command, my king. Let's show those boars who's the real king of the savannah. Are you ready, Fozo? Oh, I'm ready. It's time to end this. On days 95 to 99, I ran back to the Shadow Boar's kingdom, only to see that the King Cheetah and his men were getting cornered. Sorry, Fozo. Guess we aren't the best at being stealthy. It's all right. You bought me enough time. Ah, so the all-powerful elemental lion has finally decided to show his face again. Have you truly come to challenge my rule? I'm here to stop you and take back the throne that's rightfully mine. Well then, come and take it. On their king's command, the shadow boars all started rushing in quickly, overwhelming me with their pure strength and numbers. Ah! I started unleashing all the elements I'd mastered, blasting down groups of them at a time, but they just kept coming. But in a flash, the king cheetah took the ones chasing me. Nice little destruction there, lion. We looked over and saw that Boulder had used the chaos to start breaking the animals out of their cages. Go, go, go! Arrgh! Worthless! All of you worthless! I guess I'll have to do this myself! Thanks, I got this. 
On day 100, finally, I went up and met the King Boar next to my father's throne where I first saw him all of those days before. Looks like you don't have your army to back you up now. No, I want to kill you myself. He charged in without hesitation, using his shadow powers and brute strength to try and overwhelm me. I fought back with everything I had though, launching attack after attack. Take this! My fire roar hit him head on, but not before he could swipe at me. Gah! Gah! You are much stronger than your father, but it won't be enough. I am a king! Well, so am I! I took to the air and started raining down attacks at the boar from above. I even managed to hit my father's old crown right off his head. He was now angry and launched an attack that knocked me out of the sky. Gah! I was now left with extremely low hearts. <laughs> You never stood a chance. No. The boar reached back to strike me down one final time. But all I could think about was my father for my dad. For the kingdom. I unleashed the most powerful attack I could, combining all of my elements into one final blast, which took down the shadow boar. Rah! And with that, my savannah kingdom could finally live in peace.